What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. WNBA player Brittany Griner has been released from a Russian detention center. Russian detention center, that sounds a lot better than Russian prison. I think they, what they call it down there is actually a Russian penal colony. That's neither here nor there. She was convicted of having weed in her possession, trying to get through a Russian airport. Now, now the timing was very peculiar, to say the least. As uh, she got arrested about the same time Russia decided to invade a sovereign country by the name of Ukraine. So a lot of people think she was being used as a political pawn, as leverage against the United States to stay out of Russia affairs in Ukraine. Whatever the case may be, she's coming home to be with her family and friends. Now she's part of a prisoner exchange as she got swapped out for Russian arms dealer Victor Bout. Now a lot of people out here saying that that's not an even exchange for the United States. They get back a notorious arms dealer and we get back a weed possessor. <laughs> it's basically, and that don't, that don't add up. That's not an even exchange. Why didn't we exchange Victor Bout for Paul Whelan, who's a US service member? Well, he was charged with espionage. That's a more serious crime than having weed. I'm here to tell you right now, in Russia and here in the United States, that's a more serious crime. So maybe that was part of the equation. Uh, maybe Russia is gonna use his leverage just down the road as they're in a quagmire right now in Ukraine, as they thought they was gonna be able to go and take over Ukraine in two weeks. And here has been going on damn near a year and they still haven't succeeded in Ukraine like they thought they was gonna succeed. So that's a victory for democracy and that's a uh, defeat for dictatorship. With all that being said, a lot of people wanna bring out the fact that uh, She's a lesbian and you do the time, you gotta do the crime and why is she getting preferential treatment due to her star status? And all that may be true, but the bottom line is they were not going to give up Paul Whelan. The United States wanted Paul Whelan a part of the prison exchange and they was willing to uh, give Russia another criminal that they have in their possession to get back Paul Whelan, but at this time, Russia is not in the mood to let Paul Whelan go. I think they're probably looking at somewhere down the line, they might use him as leverage against the United States, and they're not willing at this moment to exchange Paul Whelan for one of their own. With all that being said, Brittany Brown is coming back home. She's coming back home. Uh, a lot of people are wondering um, why Brittany Griner was in Russia in the first place. Why was she going through a Russian airport with weed in her possession? That was just a dumb move on her part. A lot of people saying that. And that's something that I can't argue. That, you know, that's something I can't argue. And a lot of people saying, well, damn, that's a lot of years just to get caught up with some weed, a small amount of weed at that. That's a lot of years, but that's their laws. You know, their laws is not our laws. Our laws are not their laws. So when you're down there, you got to abide by their laws. But at the same time, this is not nothing new as far as prisoner swaps between two countries. This happened all the time. And in a lot of cases, this is a lot of high profile things that's getting a lot of headlines, news, a lot of things involving people that have been getting reported on, you know, through news media, through social media. And with uh, Brittany Griner being a high profile athlete, this story has been covered relentlessly. Her wife was out on Front Street, you know, keeping this on people's mind. All that paid dividends and all that came to fruition as far as Brittany Griner getting released. So she'll be in the United States in 
24 hours. Her wife had a press conference with President Biden and Kamala Harris, and she thanked the uh, Biden administration. And she also said that she hopes that Paul Wheeler comes home and other people over there in Russia that have been wrongly detained be able to come home. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Brendan Griner was a NBA basketball player, a WNBA basketball player. She started her career at A-Leaf Elsick here in my neck of the woods, H-Town. She played her collegiate basketball at Baylor University. She won a national championship there. She was one of the most dominant female basketball players in history. And she was able to catapult that into a very successful WNBA career. Now, she was over there in Russia playing for the Russian professional team. And she was in the process of trying to come back home due to the Russian-Ukraine conflict. But she did not dot her I's and cross her T's. She should have made sure she kept left that uh, weed that she had at the hotel or wherever she was staying at. But it was caught in her possession and she was subject to the Russian criminal system. So we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.Briscoe.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend. And I holler.